Luxury without limitations. Style without compromise. A life well lived. Welcome to Selling the Lux Life, the only radio show that seeks out and highlights the deeply authentic and genuinely meaningful, unique luxury lifestyle experiences in Orange County. Bringing new and emerging premier products and services to discerning clients and connecting the affluent customer to the finer things in life. Hey Mike. Good What's up, see man. You too, brother. Um, <clears throat> welcome everybody to another episode of Selling the Lux Life. I'm your host, Rod Gantis, and I've got Mr. Michael Latuka with me here today. And Michael is from? Tom James. Tom James is? We're the largest custom clothing company in the world. Right. And you are a person that has a very impressive portfolio, as far as I know, as far as your clients. You cover, you cover quite a bit of territory. Yes. So why, why don't you tell me? Tell so LA to San that. Diego, um, pretty much all of Southern California, and um, about a thousand clients from head to toe. And how long? How long have you been doing this? Just over three years. Wow. Mm -hmm. So what made you? Have you? Were you involved in the custom clothing business uh, before, or? I had moved to Europe for about a year, okay. and then ended up just really getting interested in the entire process, the entire industry, and. Um, seeing the opportunity to grow mm -hmm. this company out here um, and really get to know some of the movers and shakers of our country located in Southern California and be able to work with them. Now the company, a little bit of background on the company, the history of the company, it's been around for a while. Correct. Yeah. Since, the six, since 1966. Right. And so where's, where's Nashville, the Nashville, Tennessee. Nashville, Tennessee. And um, we're now 200 offices strong all over the world. Hey, you guys just had a big meeting. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and so what... What made you, how, well, let me ask you the question in a different way. What's been your experience for the last three years with doing this? I mean, you, you got in, in, you're in Southern California, you're covering yeah. everything from San Diego to Los Angeles. You're meeting all kinds of different people. I mean, I can see the appeal. Total, right? total, it's been incredible. Um, the clientele that I get to work with and take care of, they're such quality people. Mm -hmm. And it is so relational because while it is taking care of their clothing needs, their suits, sport coats, um, extreme casual, it's so much more than just that right. because I'm in their homes and um, I'm getting to know them and there's such trust in a relationship that um, you can't fabricate, you can't manufacture. It's just an organic process of getting to know someone. So it's, mm -hmm. it's been incredible. Well, and, and, and I, I just want to emphasize because I think Tom James actually has um, multi-tiers, right? Like, I mean, it's, it's interesting how you guys have the company structured and also, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think you also have women's clothing. We do. Right. So it, it's, it's, it's actually very impressive. And let's give people the website. I don't know, it'll, it'll show up on the screen, but give people the website where they can find out more about the company. It's as simple as tomjames.com. Tomjames.com. Tom There's a lot of information on there. Mm -hmm. It's very impressive. Um, that relational component is super, super critical. Total. Right, yeah. and 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 uh, I think your clients probably appreciate that as well, as mm -hmm. for, because you're right. It, it's a very personal thing. I mean, they're trusting you with their image. They're trusting you with their image at work. They're trusting you with their image at at, at playtime. Right. 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 Yeah. And you know, people can go shopping somewhere else. Yeah. Um, but it's a function of having a guy, mm -hmm. someone that knows what you like. And once we have your measurements, it's just point and click. Well, in the convenience of you going to them, right? Their home, their office. Yeah. There's a function of saving people time that you can't put a price on. Okay, and I know I know that we're today we're going to meet a couple of your uh, friends, I would think, versus They're, clients. Yeah. Are they both, right? I mean, you get to a certain point with a thousand clients, you end up having like a thousand friends. Yeah. It's been amazing. So yeah, you might have a thousand people on Facebook that you can call friends, but this gentleman here actually has a thousand <laughs> people you can call friends. So uh, with that being said, um, I believe the first gentleman is here. Yep. So let's uh, let's have him come in, and uh, we will be uh, we'll perfect. We'll, we'll see you do your thing. Thank you. Okay. Sounds great. How you doing, man? Good. Good to see, good you. see you. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Thanks, man. Yeah. So um, new sport coat. Yes. We're gonna do your fitting. And because we've done so many coats now, it really is point and click. Right. It's easy. I know you like the fit, it's comfortable, um, but this is a good one that we don't have yet. So I'm excited, Perfect. man. Um, one thing about these sport coats okay. is um, 
you know about the hand stitching. And as your suits have been worn in, they've gotten more comfortable. And so the hand stitching all throughout the entire bodice is what really starts to form to your body. Okay. That's a big difference between other coats you may get at either other custom tailor shops or um, retail. And so because we make everything in the States, you're going to have a fit and a construction that is just unparalleled. And oh, wow. Fit, that's it. It's perfect. So, it looks great. It looks really good. Um, and so one thing that we've done is we've really put in some nice features. Your water buffalo horn buttons. You have a um, liner that is just dynamite. And this fit is spot on. So um, going forward, I'm going to remain with this point to point just like this. Um, but you're good to go. This looks amazing. Awesome. Michael, I'm going to pop, pop in here. Cameron, yeah. nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. All right. Um, it looks amazing. The, the jacket's a really great fit. Thank uh, you. The details definitely are there. Um, how long have you known this guy? About two years now. And yeah. how's, how's it been? It's been fantastic. Yeah. In fact, actually, I've had uh, two custom clothers before him. Wasn't really looking, and then I gave him a shot with two jackets, and he just knocked it out, and I've used them exclusively now. So, so what would you say the difference? I mean, it's interesting. It's, it's a great perspective that you have... Uh, a, a reference to have done this before as far as custom clothiers. So what makes Michael and Tom James basically a go-to for you? Yeah, I mean, for me mainly it was fit and style. So fabrics, a lot of the custom clothiers all have very great fabrics. Mm -hmm. um, but having the right fit makes, in my opinion, any suit look dynamite, whether you do with the most expensive right, package sure. mm -hmm. or a lower package. Uh, really the fit and then just the way it feels and the functionality and then the, the big thing too is he just understands style so being able to really encompass the energy what you're trying to put out in the world yeah. um, so you're not wearing something that you don't feel like is actually you so it's an authentic representation of who I am so, so, so let, let's talk about that for a second right obviously you, you have to get to know each other for that to come across right, right. So is that an important thing too? Because I would think that the personality that you're dealing with, making you comfortable enough to share that information, that then basically means that somebody's fitting you to your lifestyle exactly. versus to their collection, right? Exactly. No, and that's the big thing too. And I think Michael does a great job of getting to know his clientele, like truly getting to understand them, understand what they want, what they need, um, what makes them happy. Mm -hmm. And so I think it's more of, not even just um, here's what's trendy, but really what's a reflection of myself, what's a reflection of you. So how, how important is that you, you use the word trendy? So, yeah. You know, for some people it's a four letter word, right? Right. But then <laughs> how, how important is the trendy factor? I mean, you're a busy guy. Yeah. You know, I would think that convenience, which Michael mentioned earlier when I sat down with him, right. you know, is a, is a part of how he differentiates his service. He comes to you, he makes it easier for you guys. Right. But you're a busy guy. So what about this trendy thing? Yeah, so tr I mean, yeah, that's so for as far as looks go, yeah. for me it's important, but I'm 29, so yeah. I'm younger. But I know for some people, the people have tried to fit them into boxes. So the, the I had gentlemen who tried to fit me in their box. Right. You know, they were late 50s, and so the custom clothes that I received were great for a 55 year old, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Now, that was a traditional 55 year old years ago. Mm -hmm. So I think as far as trendy, like you were pointing out, now, 54, only, so yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, no, but you, but you dress close. great, but you yeah. dress great, right? So you've Thank kept you. up with the style. And I think what's nice is what you pointing out is the service too. So yeah. not only the style, but the service is now up to date and what people mm -hmm. want. And it doesn't matter whether you dress the same way I dress mm -hmm. or dress what you dress or somebody else dresses the actual service and the quality of product is to date with what the market really demands. Well, and, and I would think and then the natural evolution of that relational versus transactional is that you now have a person that you trust, but also a person that is more than just an outfitter for you. Exactly. It's actually a friend, it's a person you're gonna call on for special occasions, you have something, and, and that all just makes everything that he is working on for you even better, more of a fit, right? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Well, I appreciate you taking yeah, the time absolutely. to share this. Anytime. And Thanks sorry for butting in, but no, yeah, that's this all looks good. really awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Enjoy. Appreciate all it. Right. Yep. Thanks.
Welcome back, everybody. I'm Rod Gantis, and we are uh, back from break. You're watching Selling the Lux Life, and I'm here with Mr. Michael Latuka from Tom James. And uh, we are, where are we today? Now, we were in a different place before the break. Yeah, we are at Mike Craig's office here at Keller Williams and private loans. So see, we just transport just like that, you know, it's, it's like, like <laughs> the Starship Enterprise, it's one location to the other. I, I'm making fun of it, but part of the reason why I wanted to showcase uh, Michael and Tom James is because of one very important factor, the convenience of the service that they bring. And we mm -hmm. talk about the show being not only about luxury product, but the selling of luxury products and what makes it convenient for certain people. And that's a big plus, I think, for you is the convenience factor, right? Of course. How many appointments? How many appointments have you had this morning before we started shooting? Six. Yeah, six appointments by twelve o'clock. Yes. Okay. So you're just slacking. I know. <laughs> <laughs> My guys are busy. I got to be quick for them, you know. All right. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm I'm pointing it out because that is very much something I would look for if I'm looking for for something like this that's customized service that is convenient, it makes it a lot more appealing for me. What do you think, Mike? Yeah, I have a busy schedule, so I love it that it's just easy, easy to use. So let, before the break, we, uh, we, we saw how uh, Michael was uh, having, having a fitting, uh, a consult with Cameron, and now we're doing something different. Right. What are we doing? So we have Mike's pattern already set. He's been a client for a while now, um, and I always come prepared with ideas. So I know some great things based on what his wardrobe already has in it mm -hmm. that he can just add. Mm -hmm. And so... Um, and let's talk about that for a minute, okay? Because for guys, I think that's something that sometimes we forget. Right. Like the convenience of, of the thing and then just maximizing the use of your wardrobe, which is I think what you're talking about, right? Totally. Yeah, so let's talk about that a little bit. The idea of different patterns and textures, yeah. I'm gonna take care of that for you. Most of my clients are super busy um, and this is like, outside data storage. I'm just coming in here and you know, I know Mike, you know, based on his complexion too, certain colors look really great on him. Um, so something like this, it's a really clean check mm -hmm. shirt. You can mix and match it with the sport coats for mm -hmm. some of those nicer things that you do. Sure. But you also can rock it untucked with the jeans, mm -hmm. something like that. So, um, yeah, it could totally be a weekend wear, casual Friday, right. dress it up with, with a sport coat, go out. Yeah, I can see Versatility. that. Versatility. Um, Orange County, we have um, a really great demographic of people that are able to do a plethora of events. And so the things that I get my clients, I want them to be able to mix and match it and wear it for everything. Mm -hmm. So something like this as well is a really neat sport coat mm -hmm. um, that not only can you wear with some nice wool slacks or chinos, you also can rock it with jeans. Mm -hmm. right. Solid white shirt or a neat check pattern shirt. Fabulous. Uh, regarding Tom James, my, the uh, you guys are different in that it's a vertically integrated company too, right? We talked before the break about the fact that you guys are not only for men's clothing, but your women's clothing as well. Yep. And you also are vertically integrated, right? We own it all. Yeah, so you actually own your own uh, mills? Woolen mills, tailoring shops. Um, we have 10 tailoring shops across the entire globe. Right. And so some of them are Maryland, New Jersey, Chicago. Um, and Chicago is the last hand stitch tailoring shop in all of North America. Is that Oxford? Oxford. Yeah, Oxford. Yep. And so what's remarkable is when you marry our fabrics and the quality of those internationally to our American construction, mm -hmm. that marriage is, you can't compare it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I, and I wanted to make sure that we pointed that out because that's an interesting difference in your company. Not only are you the largest uh, clothier, custom clothier, out there, but and that you both men and women, which sometimes that is not the case. Sometimes it's a specialty is either women or custom tailors or men's. In your case, you guys have offered that both, and were you with your business lines? I mean, it's totally understandable that you would do that. Completely. Um, and how has been the experience working with Mike? Well, it's just been for me really simple. I think uh, we spend more time drinking coffee than picking clothes. I think we probably yeah. spend more time yeah. right now talking about fabrics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, I, I've enjoyed it, you know. <laughs> Thanks, brother. And, and, and um, do you find that people respond, like when you're wearing the stuff, do you, do you find it? Yeah, 100%. Like, the versatility for me was really important. You know, we're traveling a lot, and, you know, from night wear to day wear, people are like, not really understanding that their pieces have gone to other places. And sometimes you have to switch, right? Yeah, like you're switching. middle of one yeah. way and then exactly. you gotta go casual or you gotta go formal. 
in that same night. Yeah. Yeah, very cool. Um, anything that you're looking for next? I mean, is it casual wear as well as former wear? Um, you... I've, at my stage of life, you know, Michael and I have discussed, I'm pretty much all casual. Yeah. Yeah, so I, that's where we go most of the time, and whatever's new, and I, that's how I pick it. <laughs> so how, how, is, how is Mike different than Cameron? when you're basically getting ready to have a, have a consult with him. How totally. do you prepare differently? I mean, I assume you would prepare differently. Before. Yeah, well, they have different audiences of whom yeah. they're serving. Yeah. And so we want to be very intentional with, you know, for Cameron, he generally is either suited up or in a sport coat and slacks. Um, and he does need to be in more of that formal setting and more of that formal appearance. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Mike is not sorry, 28, like Cameron is, 29. And so for him, he's at a point in his life where he's done that and now he can choose to be more casual. Um, and his clientele is so developed and um, he's been doing this for so long that he's able to have specific attire that is more casual for that. Mm -hmm. It's pretty cool. And, and versatility, I mean. That's important. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so what, what you said, you, you, I mean, I see a, a, an iPad, I see fabric samples. Right. Total. Um, this work, is, work us through the, the process. Yeah. What What is a Tom James process? So the Tom James process. And by the way, by the way, I just want, <laughs> I just want to acknowledge something. Okay, this guy is so busy. He's so good. He's got such a large portfolio of clients that he services very well. That he actually just came from Florida from the national meeting where he addressed his whole company. So he's very under, you know, unassuming, but I just want to make sure that that goes on there. Thank you yep. very much. Um, you work hard at it, man. It, 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 and, and you know, your, your clients and how satisfied they are speaks volumes. So thank you. Yeah. And it's it's really great, Rod, because um, it's not just suits. This yeah. isn't just clothing. Yeah. This is a, a genuine relationship with people where they know I care about them, mm -hmm. and you know, a lot of the times. Um, as people, we view other people as dollar signs. Mm -hmm. My clients are much more My than quarterly that. sales, my... Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Um, and so for me, while the fabrics and the product sells itself, um, I'm really on a mission to just encounter people and be someone for them that makes this easy. Mm -hmm. And we have a great relationship. Mm -hmm. So um, the Tom James process is very easy because we've designed it to be that way. Where we not only have lookbooks of fabrics and, and already pre-styled looks mm -hmm. that I can then choose from based on my client's needs and their style, but then I can pair it with a bunch of different fabrics as well. Mm -hmm. Mike's pattern is so dialed in for him mm -hmm. that we'll probably do a few shirts today um, of checks and solids and it's just point and click. So it's the easiest thing for him now. Um, and then those will be delivered directly to his home or his office. Mm -hmm. He won't need to try them on because his fitting process is done. Mm -hmm. um, and one neat thing is I don't really have competitors because the gentlemen that do custom clothing in Orange County, they actually purchase a lot of their fabrics from Tom James. Mm -hmm. So those guys are, in an essence, our clients. Mm -hmm. um, what my clients get is there's no middlemen and we are the direct source. Um, and it, it shows because we also really care about them. Mm -hmm. How so? How long have you been working with Mike? Over a year, maybe year and a half now. And and and, and again, men's clothing that tends to be maybe more uh, classic, like we get more life out of it. But on average, this question I guess is for both of you: How often do you see people changing wardrobes? Like, is it is it? Do you see pieces that are? I mean, I, 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 will, I will out myself. I have two sport coats that are Hugo Boss sports coats that are uh, lightweight uh, lamb's wool that I've had since 1985, and I wear them. And you know, I was glad as heck when I finally could fit back into them. Right? But I, I do, and and, and it, so it's it's interesting. I think that you know, we we talk about trendy, and we talk about you know what's in fashion and what's in style. But there's a certain amount of timeless elegance to stuff. Mm. And I think I see a lot of it just looking at the fabrics here. There's a bunch of the fabrics here that are just ageless, basically, mm -hmm. timeless. Um, but on average, when you're meeting with your clients, I mean, do you see yeah, there's like fashion conscious and totally. image conscious? And they'll let me be fashion conscious for them mm -hmm. um, and really show them some new things. But the biggest difference between Tom James and other labels or other custom clothing companies is we build in extra material into the inside of your fabric, into the inside of your garment. Mm -hmm. So if you, life happens and you gain weight, 
we can expand that. We will adjust it because we have clients that have been Tom James clients since the 80s right. who are now coming to me and saying, hey, um, this coat, I need to let it out a little bit. And I look at the date on the inside, 1984. Mm -hmm. And it still looks fantastic. The mm -hmm. fabric has held up. Mm -hmm. That's because of the quality that we make. Um, and then I just adjust that and he's got it for another 40 years. Well, quality is something that you can never pay enough for, mm. and especially if it's something that's a good investment. I mean, I would assume that anybody in, the, in professional capacity, you were looking at this stuff as clothing, but it's also our image, it's also how we present ourselves, you know, it's a reflection of who we are. Right. So it is definitely a worthy investment. I appreciate you taking the Thank time. You, Thank you for hosting us. Any day. And uh, thanks, Mike. Thank you uh, so much. And thank you, everybody. Thank so you. let's give the website again, Mike. TomJames.com. As it easy is as that. As easy as that. As easy as that. Go check it out. There's a lot of information on there. Ladies, check out Tom James as well because there's a lot of interesting, cool stuff in there. Uh, you will be surprised. It's not just a men's clothing company. And thanks for joining us on Selling the Lux Life. We will see you again uh, next month. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for joining us this week on Selling the Lux Life. We hope you enjoyed the show and look forward to hearing your thoughts and feedback via email on our social media platforms. Be sure to tune in next time as we continue discussing life's luxuries that inspire us while showcasing members of the Orange County community that share our same passion for sophisticated living.